Going to do some figure sketching today in ballpoint pen. Working on a quite small, I think this is Hannah Mueller Nostalgia paper. About A5, I think, and then we'll probably work half this. So we'll try to put two figures into the one um, page. I won't go too detailed. We're just going to start as usual with a gesture first, kind of get in the direction of that torso. Maybe find the direction of those hips as well. So along with them shoulders. And then head down to those legs. And just throwing in gestures where we can find it. Not exactly sure if they're correct. But they can be changed later. I know working in ballpoint pen. You can, you can still kind of think that. They're quite um, permanent. But like doing starting off with lighter lines. Makes it easier to kind of go over the drawing later. And figure out what you really want to show, you know. So let's continue here. What have we got? Got the hips. I'll mark maybe that down as like that's where that the top of that thigh is. So for running up the chest here, there's the underneath those that pelvis, that pelvis. What's it called the pecs? Uh, and it'll run up into the uh, sternal notch into the neck here. And we'll finish up those um, shoulders. Okay, maybe I'm going a bit too detailed here. I'm thinking about small stuff. I still need to find the rest of the figure before I start drawing in the chest and everything else. We just still pop in proportions. Start slowly finding the figure. I'll still work quite light throughout this whole thing until I'm definite that I know where I'm putting everything. This arm sweeps in as we go to the lower bit of it. Probably sweeps in that way. We need to find this arm as well. That's where I said where my pecs are. That's where the shoulder is. Runs down this way and then runs back under that chair. Which actually if I'm going to make that as my shoulder, I'll mark that as the outside. That's going to be the pit. Come out a little bit. If that's the pit of the arm. Coming out a little bit. That must be the outside of those hips. That means the arm was must come in this way. Yeah, that feels a little bit better to me. And then if we did we mark this arm we did earlier, didn't we? Let's just make sure we find that pit of the arm there. Um, it's not horizontal across the pit from pit to pit. It's a little bit downwards, so that pit should be about here. Yeah, that feels better. Running that down to the chest this way. And again, just double checking that I put that arm and hand down in the right place. This arm, the top of the arm actually comes outwards slightly, it doesn't go inwards, and then it starts coming inwards with the bottom of the arm. Uh, the forearm even, you could say. Uh, brain, the shoulders. Uh, we'll find just the idea. I've made it too dark of a mark here, um, unfortunately, but we can work with it. I should have found out where everything was first before I put that down. It's easy enough to get um, stuck onto something else. Uh, the direction of that head that neck as well I think I drew that head maybe a bit too big or too wide even for now that's a bit better I think I'll just put the idea of it in don't have to get too detailed here I think okay I think we've got a pretty good framework and can probably start defining these scenes just a little bit more Start finding out what's dark and what's light, or just slowly putting in marks for myself later to work on top of. I find myself being a bit stiff with this drawing, but it's probably because I just haven't warmed up yet. Maybe in the next figure drawing we do, it might be a bit better. We'll still work with what we got going there though, see what we can learn. Everything can be moved and changed around. For an extent, to an extent anyway, because we're working in um, pen, you can't erase, but we can feel our way through the drawing. Let me see, I need to get the good idea of that shoulder in. It's a bit wider than I think. Or maybe not as wide as I think. Let me see. 
do find myself when I work small, I feel even more restricted. Like, you know, you work in a big A3 page with some charcoal or pastel and you find yourself throwing your, your pencil around. Feels quite nice. But I think when you work small, I know your your mistakes and, um, you know, your proportions can, can really be thrown off very quickly. You have a bit more leeway with bigger uh, drawings. Let me see here. Still just trying to find my way through this drawing. I'm trying to find that chest. Down the obliques. A bit lower, isn't it? Yeah. There's that hip there. I think maybe I drew a bit too wide out. Sure, it's okay. Gotta find that thigh. Mark that as the top of the thigh area. It means we must be coming down this way. It's a bit wider than I put down and then we find that knee just working in angles as much as we can as well just to find the direction of everything definitely drew these too short the gesture of the leg so let's just bring that down come into that calf muscle into that shin and onto the foot there Am I happy with that foot? Mm, it's okay, maybe a bit lower down. That'd be alright for now. That looks a bit um not defined, but <laughs> it's okay. We'll we'll do a bit more later. It could actually be a bit longer maybe, or the thigh needs to be a bit thicker. I think I drew this too thick. Sure look, it's fine. Onto the other thigh here. Oh, actually, maybe we should just mark in. That's where our hand's going. And onto that thigh. Find out where knee is. I'm just going to look at this negative space here. Onto that knee must be over here. Yeah, that's okay. And then back down, we have that knee. Onto that shin bone. Got to find that calf. The other foot is a bit lower than this one. Not much lower, I don't think. Yeah, grand. And even from here, um, we define these shapes a little bit more. Then we can start defining even more and more and more. Um, I think I've drawn it lightly enough that I can start playing around with it. We'll see as we move on. I do like drawing curly hair. You can play around with it a lot more. And I think I'm okay with that neck. I don't think I maybe I draw that shoulder out just a little bit more. Okay, then let me start thinking about shadows and values. I want to keep everything quite simple because I want to move on to another drawing. So let's just wrap around the figure where our marks. Um, you know, just it's the same idea when you use pastel and uh, charcoal, but a bit more um, noticeable. So you just go with the, f the flow of the figure when you sh when you shade the flow of the form that you see. Uh, being consistent with your marks is is definitely more <laughs> uh, definitely going to be a boon to you. I'm not that great with the pen, so I will just do my best here. It's not too bad. Just gonna group all these shadow shapes first and then maybe we can start deciding what needs to be shown a bit more with even more shadow shapes. There we go. The clavicle or the trapezius shaded as well as the sternomastoid and um, which is the bit that connects from like your sternal notch here to like just is it just underneath your ear? Yeah, you can feel it if you pop your hand in your neck there. And we'll shade in that arm. 
I just put a nice mark down for that rib cage. Where are we going here? I need a shade in here. And I think I'm gonna keep this all quite light. It's not in, it's there's a little bit of shading, but it's not I don't think it's grouped into the shadows really. Where are we going? We're gonna go follow this leg here. Gonna group all that into shadow. Yeah, and then into the next one. And here we go. Just keep continuing grouping all these shadows together. So once you do that, you can start then designing the shapes of those shadows a bit more. All right, have we got everything? Oh, I forgot about the head. I can't really see that, but I can see the eye, but I'm not going to go in and draw an eye, I'll just kind of get the idea of that eye socket and the hair as well. There we are, okay. Am I happy with everything here before we continue? Yeah, now let's think about what we want to do next here. Um, do I... Maybe start defining some shapes a bit more. Or do I start you now even grouping some more shadow shapes over here? So if I say that's actually we'll put the box down anyway. Get him sitting on something. So I'm just flowing in the air there. Yeah, we'll group this together. The light's not super important, I don't think, to our drawing. And could have done those shading a bit better, but sure, look. Okay, and let's prep in what we think our darkest bit is, probably around here. Just that pit there. Shading a bit more. Get some different shapes in. Just gonna go with the opposite direction of the, um, in the marks I made earlier. Still kind of thinking about flowing around the figure, but just not going with the same direction I put in to give it a little bit more form. Mm, yeah, thinking about like core shadows. I guess the, when I say that, I mean like the, it's basically the point where your figures, like the, the light starts to turn around, like you got this front plane here, then you got this core shadow, then it turns around into the rest of the form. And like usually the rest of the form will get kind of more reflective lights. Let me see here. Don't know if I want to do too much of this because it's already kind of blending into the, the background there and I don't mind that. Yeah, I'm not going to do too much. Maybe I can start getting a bit more shapes into the lights. So I can start moving on to another figure drawing. I don't want to go too crazy with it though. Because I don't want to make it look like suddenly these are shadows in those lights, you know? I think I'll leave that as a kind of a softer edge. Yeah, that's okay. Where are we going here? Yeah, I'm not too... Um, I'm not, uh, no, I'm not going to say I'm not too happy. <laughs> I'm like happy enough I'm in <laughs> with this drawing. Uh, I think I'll move on to another one here. Let me just put down a kind of a simple tone on the background. So it doesn't look as much like a hard edge. That's okay, let's go to another drawing. Okay, our next image is a bit more landscape instead of portrait. We'll just again follow the flow of what we're seeing here. Up the back, down towards, now uh, following the spine towards those shoulders. 
I'm not drawing this a bit too big for the page. That's okay. The work of what we've done. Finding the direction of them hips as well. Definitely got a squish shape on this side. And then this side is a bit more stretched out. I'm going to break down everything into simple shapes as I go ahead. Do a simple line for myself to tell myself that's stretched. And then I need something to indicate to me that that is squished a bit more. I'll just follow the shape I see. Yeah, that works for me. And um, we we'll find the legs. So the feet must be around here as well. And the same here. There's a foot coming out. So over here we have the other thigh in here, but or the knee and leg here. The rest of the leg there, but I don't think I'm going to really define that too much. That's really mostly in shadow, and I can group those shadows together if I want. Get the shoulders in a bit more. See the way the shoulder, uh, the shoulder blades are kind of overlapping, and you're not going to see a lot of the trapezius on either side. You can just throw that shape in a little bit for the neck as well. I drew that maybe a bit too dark. Yeah, you can actually see the shoulder blade. Is that the shoulder blade? Overlapping onto the... Because the shoulder, the deltoid itself, is actually going behind it there. And then we've got hand, and I'll just mark in the hair there. Not super delighted with how I drew this up here, but let's let's just work with it for now and see what happens. I might just try to be a bit looser with this drawing, considering I was a bit stiff with the last one. So I'll try to work with kind of cur curvy lines and design a bit more. That might help me. Even if it looks a little bit messy, it might help me going into another drawing layer. And you know, when you do these um, figure drawings, you don't have to be so worried about... It's like saying when you go into the live drawing, I feel like you don't have to be too worried about um, you know, making mistakes or making it look exactly like the person you're drawing. Just enjoy yourself and explore. I really, whenever I go to life drawing, I, you know, I throw my pencil around, <laughs> um, making marks all over the place because I just want to make mistakes. It's because so I can learn, you know. I suppose it depends what you're going in there for. You know, if you have maybe four hours to to do one pose, absolutely, maybe dedicate your time to try getting things correct, see what you can learn from that. But if it's quick poses, um, just just go for it, see what happens. I was actually going to do some of these in pastel today, but uh, unfortunately, I must have dropped my pastel pencil too much because it just, <laughs> every time I tried to sharpen it, it would just break off. That happens though. I'll just get a new one. Maybe we can actually see a little bit of that arm over this way. I 
Are we okay with our shapes before we move over and start shading? Let me see. Don't really like the shapes I did over here, but I think I just I've done too many marks to really fix it, I think. And we'll see when we get to shading what we can do there. And I'm just gonna mark in also this shadow we've got going on. So just and I think I wanna mark uh group all of these into that shadow shape. Um just wrap around that figure some sense of direction with our shading and then we'll mark in the shadow shape again I see that thigh underneath but I'm not going to really bother with marking it in too much and I should have been a bit more consistent with my shadow shape and my mark making not the end of the world should still hopefully read. Let's do the rest here. A bit darker than I did earlier. So I'm trying to also keep just the flow I had earlier in my shading. Maybe don't look at the reference too much and just try to design as I see it. I kind of want to keep all of this shape, like all here, marked together as well. I'll show you what I mean by that now once I just go on the shading it. Just do this big whole shadow shape here. And then I do the same thing I did with the other side of the figure. Just put all of those shadows together. Should read okay. It's not too bad. Some sense of difference in form as well might help. Do some light shading in the um in the light side as well. Oh, that's my mouse going. Okay, with, I'm okay with that for that drawing. Let's do maybe one more, or should I leave it there? It's actually been a long movie, uh, long video. <laughs> uh, with pen, you can really kind of lose yourself in a country. All right, I'll just finish this shadow shape. Actually, yeah, I'm okay with these drawings. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. I'll see you in the next video.